All right, so in this video here, we're gonna talk about how to handle offline games with the Chestnut Pro and the Chestnut Air for that matter. And say if somebody makes a mistake in a game, like makes an illegal move, but neither one of you all catch it, and you know, you know you're playing over the board, and you keep playing until the end of the game, I'll show you how to deal with that as well. Um, again, the best recommendation for most people is gonna be Chess PGN Master, which is an Android and an iOS based um, um, app. And I think most people are gonna to wanna to use a tablet or a phone. That's why this is probably gonna be the better option for most people. They do have a free version of it, but they also have a pro version of Chess PGN Master as well that gives you more features. Now, Chestnut does have an official uh, Windows PC or Windows, I mean, or Mac um, OS um, version of software that you can download and install and then you can extract the games from the board with those software. And well, it's one feature that that has, so you're kind of going to need both. And I'll tell you why, I'll tell you this before we even begin here, is that you can export import games on the board with either way with the app or with the iOS or Windows PC. I'm just use PC from now since so that's the version I have. And but in, to import games that have a mistake in them with an illegal move, you're going to need the um, Windows PC version. Now, um, again, like I said, this is when I say offline, this is over the board because again this board will accept an illegal move because again it's not really if you're playing over the board and if you make an illegal move and I don't see it and we keep playing well the game carries on and that's the whole idea here all right so what we're going to do first is we see the orange light is on so it's already in um, OTB mode so let's just play I'm going to play two fictitious games, and then I'm, then I'm going to play the third game with some illegal moves so we can see what happens. All right, so we're going to do the classic uh, two-move uh, checkmate here. And uh, let's do that. Uh, wait a minute. Let's back up. Sorry. Start over. Let's uh, do the two-move checkmate here. And all right, so that um, ends that game here. So how to do that, we just hold this second button here for three seconds. And to that orange light goes off and now you know that game is saved to the board. Just by setting your pieces back in the original positions, it will, um, it should automatically reset it to over the board. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a checkmate from the white side. We're just gonna do the, do the uh, typical uh, scholars made or some version of that. Let's just see, we don't really care. We're just gonna make a move and go here and then that is a uh, checkmate right there. All right, so let's go ahead and hold this second button down here again for a couple of seconds until this orange light here goes off. We know that game is now saved. All right, so let's go back to the, um, and this should work even if you accidentally set the board up wrong. <laughs> Neither one of y'all notice and y'all just play a game. So anyway, let's make a move. This is gonna be quite funny. We're just gonna make a couple of, we're gonna make, uh, Let's make, first of all, two normal moves first. All right, so we can see what happens. We got two normal moves. Now it's White's move. Let's be like a White, um, you know, he's just hanging out. His knight hops straight forward. Pretty funny, huh? So what about if, um, let's just say Black has this super bishop that can go from this black square and transport to a white square. All right? Assuming nobody sees that, and that's just make pretend that the game is over with. Okay, so you just saw two illegal moves. We can even make it, let's make a few more illegal moves just for the heck of it. We will go um, here and let's do queen here. All right, so just so that I know this is wild and crazy, but I want to exaggerate this so you can see that, you know, if you make some illegal moves, just what will happen so you can see that it, that the, Chestnut official software has you covered in this case. You can still reconstruct your game. All right, so now let's go ahead and save this. Push that second button here. All right, so now we've done that. Now let's go ahead and open up, uh, let's go ahead and connect this to the PGN Master. Let's go ahead and activate Bluetooth here. And we're gonna go in here to preferences, go down to eboard, and here you select Ebo, it's already got Chestnut, but if you just, it, 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 I'm just showing you this menu, if you've never seen this, that where 
basically every modern board on the market is available to connect to this um, app. All right, so now we're just gonna back out, go back to the main menu. Now we see, um, if we go up here to, uh, let's see here, to the Bluetooth symbol here, hit the Bluetooth, select the Chestnut Air board, and you, this should connect just like that. And this is fine, that's just because the board is, um, you, know, that, you know, this is just the board setup. So don't worry about all the colors you see here on the board. What we're trying to get to is to make a database again. So we don't, we don't even have to worry about these colors. All right, so what you wanna do first of all, is hit the uh, menu right here, or you can just swipe to the, to swipe to the right and click uh, new file. Again, you can always add these games to an existing file, but I'm showing you if you've never done this before, so you can start right from the beginning. And at the bottom here, just type a name. We're gonna say test, um, let's just call it uh, 999, test 999. All right, save. So now, what we want to do is go back to this uh, pawn here. It, you know, normally you see that pawn was gold and has a little dot beside it. Sometimes it'll be a, a black pawn with a check mark, but either way, you know, just to hit that pawn icon right beside those menus. And at the bottom here, when the screen pop up, this is gonna be the same no matter what. You're gonna see the battery indicator over here to the left. And over here, you're gonna see this little uh, pink OTB. So just click that. And it says, download over the board games. Illegal moves and over the board is not supported. If you continue, these games will be removed. So this, while this app imports your games, it does not import games that have illegal moves that you might want to the end, but you still want to go back and keep. But don't worry, we'll get to that in a minute right after this over. So we're going to say um, add to file. And we're going to click our file right here, test 999. Click that, and as you see, the yellow bar at the bottom indicates that the um, game was imported. So now, test 999, let's see here. So now, this here, now this here's a truncated file. Remember those, remember those legal moves we made from the game that had all the legal moves that you see here on the board? That's why we got this truncated file here is because of that reason. All right, so let's go to the next game. As we can see here, I just want to show you that all the games are in fact imported. Here is the Scholar's Mate. If we go to the next game, it just put them in reverse order. We got the good old fashioned two move checkmate. So as you can see, this app, uh, Chess PGN Master, efficiently, effectively, and flawlessly imports your game with legal moves. So that's how you handle important over the board games with your Android or iOS device. So now I'm just gonna hop over to Windows. I'm not gonna have the board on the screen, but I'm just gonna hop over to, to my um, Windows PC, open up the Chestnut Air uh, PC program and show you how to import that one illegal game. Now what happens is this, now we'll tell you this, when you import these games here, it removes it from the memory. So now when we go over to the um, Chestnut PC program, it's only going to be one game to import here. All right. So it's not going to be those other games, the one with the scholars made, the one with the two move checkmate. So just know that if you import some games over here, they're not going to be available to re-import because one wants to import it, Chestnut pushes it out of its memory. So with that said, let's just go ahead and hop over to the PC now. All right, guys, so we got a little intermission here. Something I just found out was that if you have a game that part of it is has legal moves and the other part has illegal moves, if you try to, if you import the legal part into Chess PGN Master first, it will discard the rest of the stuff. They would just be deleted from the system. So with that said, that's something to be mindful of. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and make an illegal game right here so you can see it and then I'm going to save it. So that way you can. So that way, when we actually make it reproduce this game inside of the Chestnut, the official Chestnut PC app, you can see how it handles it. All right. So let's again, let's go ahead and make a, we're going to make a, we're going to make a, some legal moves first. Now let's make a few fake moves here. 
we just make a few fake moves here and let's do something like this and let's 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 have a wild crazy pawn like this and maybe a knight that does that all right so now let me save this right here to the board and i'll be back with the uh chestnut pc app all right guys i'm back here with the uh official chestnut pc program they also make this program for mac os as well now how do you import the games well when you first connect the board to the app it just you can see right in the middle of the screen in the order it says import so there's nothing to go through it just automatically detects that there's games to import on your um from your board so now we go to import so we click import right here and as you can see it's working to import the games and let's watch what happens this is going to be real interesting here so therefore take a look at the first one and what it does is that it, it, you see the remember the first two legal moves we made right here d4 d5 uh let me see i don't think my arrow key oh they oh, i gotta go gotta go here c4 c5 remember those but wait a minute what happens after that well check it out what it does it creates a fin diagram see that's the illegal move with the knight you see how it hopped from b1 to b3 this here is that uh well, it looks like it's, I may have just not put it on a square in the middle of the board. Remember that super rook I had to jump across? So I think I just didn't put that rook in the center, and I think that's what happened. But anyway, as you can see, it was an illegal move in any case, and the, and the game allows you to recreate that. So let's see what happens to go here. Now it puts the rook, I guess because when I first put the rook, um, maybe there's just, just some disconnect between the boards and stuff talking. But either way, it actually kept everything going so let's see what else let's check out our other legal illegal moves here let's hit this fin here um that that one is gone let's see what happens okay now it jumps over maybe i made two moves in a row maybe but anyways you remember that bishop jumps over here so let's see okay so it looks like it's um it does some weird things sometimes with defense but either way you can see my queen hopped over this pawn from um d8 to f6 so with that said, uh, as we can see, look at that, the super pawn that hopped from instead of going two squares, it went three. That's pretty funny. And as we can see, and then the next move is uh knight went from F um I mean went from G1 to E3. So there you have it. There's two ways to import your games from the chestnut um air or the chestnut pro. One caveat here is that if your game do have illegal moves in it, if you try to import it through the Chess PGN Master first, you will lose the truncated part. I mean, you will get the illegal move, the legal moves, but the illegal move part will be truncated and discarded. However, but if you import your games inside of the Chestnut PC, and I presume I've never used the Mac OS program, but I think it would be the same that you will import all of your games, all of the um, PGNs with legal moves, and all of the fin diagrams from your illegal moves as well. With that said, I hope this clears us up a little bit about why um, I think this is a very awesome thing, a very awesome board uh, for, for doing over the board. What? Because again, you can say, if somebody even makes a mistake, well, this game here is going to continue to record in some way or another, as you can see with these fin diagrams.